Good evening. We are going to do a couple different projects today. Um, we are going to do an acrylic pour on a little 6x6 gallery canvas. And that's what I'm mixing the paints for in this recording. And then I'll start a second recording. And I have rabbit parts here. I have four rabbits ready, so I thought we would put the base papers down and maybe watercolor. I don't know how far we'll get. So what I have so far mixed it was I have an artist yellow, artist loft deep yellow, and that's already mixed. It's Carol's Carol TM's recipe, so it's about a half an inch of paint. A little squirt of pour medium and then water. I haven't added any silicone to any paint yet. I'm not sure I'm going to put silicone in all the colors. Then I have the red with a neon red by Americana. Most of these are neons. And that came out really pretty. It's a pretty berry color. And it's ready. And the only reason I added, there's a little more of this color is because this heavy body takes a little more then i have a neon pink by americana and then i have a neon green i thought i'd do her ice cream colors hi Lori. hi Eileen. hi kimberly oh good carol you're here so what i did was i put the paint in and then a squirt of the pour medium now I'm adding water and getting it to the right consistency. I'm not mixing a whole lot of each of these colors because that canvas is only a 6x6. Six six. It is a gallery wrapped. So when I went to that Art Resin website that I sent to you, um, I think it's artresin.com. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. I saw it on one of the web the Facebook sites, Art Resin Epoxy. So it's artresin.com and Art Resin's all one word. And what I did was my canvas is six inches by six inch, but it's a gallery wrap. So you're adding another inch. So I'm going to do seven by seven. Actually, I'm going to do 7.25 by 7.25 and then you say your units in inches and it will calculate it's for the resin which would be 50 percent resin and fit but this tells you your liquid how much you need on here so this says two ounces or 54 milliliters so that was artresin.com and so what I'm trying is the kind of cotton candy colors but with neons that Carol did. I don't have any purple in here. I put the red for my dark color. That may be too thin. No, looks good. So that was a neon blue, electric blue, and these are all Americana paints except for the two artists lost. And so this is the neon orange. And I, like I said, I'm just adding the water to it. Put about two squirts of the paint, Carol. Just a little squirt of the pouring medium. And then I'm going to be really careful with the treadmill. The problem with this bottle that I bought is this opening drips way too fast. And you think you're going to get a drop. And you get a squirt. So I think some of my, and I put a little flow troll in the white and the two heavy bodies because they're heavy body paints. But I didn't put any flow troll in the neons otherwise. But I wanted to thin these a little bit more and I didn't want to use too much water. So the two that were the heavy acrylics and this white's a little heavier. And I made more white than I did of the other colors. And 
I found my push pins. Yay. So we'll try the push pins in the canvas. And I don't think I'm going to add silicone to all the colors. I got uh, eight of these at uh, Walmart. There was a four pack. So I got two four packs. Hubby and I went and bought a bike the other day. So the weather's been rainy here. And then after it rains, it's been really nice and cool. So we've been binge watching Nurse Jackie and bike riding in the evening. And then during the day, we've been taking care of some um, bank business, trying to trying to buy the to to buy a house. So I talked to the guy at the mortgage company, and it looks good. So. Looks like we're getting our ducks in the row to buy something in the fall. But the housing market's really tight. Like houses go on the market and within one day there's multiple offers. Is it me or, oh no, 37 new messages. It's not scrolling up. There, well, white is more dense to begin with, so, then my white's thicker, so I'm, that's why I'm ending up with more. Some of this white I may save and do another pour with. I'm also got some thing in the white. Let me get it out, because that is gunk. And what I may do is put a little white on the canvas and then pour into it. That might be good to put some of the white around the outside. Because I've also noticed if you have to push your flip cup too much off, then you lose a lot of your good cells. That is thin enough. Okay, my so my thought was I don't like the way this bottle drips. So I really thought about um, putting the push pins in. I really thought about um, putting some of the oil in a plastic cup and just trying to drip it off the stick and see if I couldn't get a more controlled drip. I need to get the little hammer. Just so that they go in and sit fairly. Yeah, that works. So what I thought about doing was seeing if I took some of this, if I could drip it, like control the drippage with the stick a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to try. And I don't think I want to put the silicone. And I mean, it just pours out. That's part of the problem. Until I go buy something different. That works better. One, two, three, one, two. And I just put a little bit in this cup. One two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. There's a little bit in everything now. And then I can just put this 
what's left over. I can just put it back in the cup and just make this my silicone cup for right now. I just don't have an eyedropper. So that I think that'll work because like what I put in here is what's been ending up almost that much in the other cups. So let's and that was a neon orange that I did. All of the colors are the neons from Deco Arts, except for the red I added the artist loft to, and I don't have the yellow. My yellow went bad. Set those aside. Put the, uh, the artist loft so we'll have a little more room. I think this will work for a pan. And we'll sit. All right, we need a cup to pour in. So I'm going to start with the white. And then I'm going to add some red. And some of the pink. Then I'll add some of the blue, the green, the yellow, I'll add a little more white. I am getting cells in the cup. Orange. <coughs> I worry sometimes about the colors making too much mud next to each other. I want contrast, but that's probably definitely enough paint for we might do a flip cup on one and a dirty pour on the other. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all this paint in a cup and we'll probably do two canvases. I'm going to leave some of the white. I might put the other push pins in another canvas. I have another. We could kind of compare a flip cup to the dirty pour with the same colors. A lot of red. Put some more white. All right, let me grab the other canvas and We'll stick push pins in it. They're not necessary, Kmore. They're just what we like. Some people don't like the cells. Some people uh, like more of the ribbons that you can get uh, by not doing a flip cup. When you just pour, but a lot of people like that look. All right, where did I do with that? Let me hammer this in real quick. Because I definitely think there's enough paint to do two of these canvases. And I think we can do them sort of side by side. All right, I don't even think I want to put the stick in there. I'm going to do the flip. And then I'm going to do the double flip again. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, when I pour, I'm going to have more paint than I need. I'm going to let it go off onto this other canvas. That'll work since I had so much. Um, a lot of red. I don't have little cells though, but I haven't torched yet. Set that down and let's work with what's left in the cup and the white. And then I have some red. And we'll see what we can get on this other one. My hands are filthy, of course. Let's see if we can. It's definitely a good consistency for the pour. Pour most that red off. This is going to be a good example to show K more, I think. All right. Let me, I'm touching up the sides. Um, I need to wipe my hands off with this old baby wipe and then we get a wet baby wipe. Ah! What to do with the cups and the space can be an issue. Just trying to get some extra Paint in a couple places out of this cup. I didn't get that edge there. All right, so what I'm going to do is take, I'm trying to get the same color off the bottom of the little. pool of paint and kind of tap it down the sides and I may try a brush. This is all kind of mixed up. I think I can get more paint up. With the pens, I don't have as much room as I did with the cups and the other when I had it tilted up on something else. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm just trying to hit the blank spots with the paint that's left over on the bottom which is pretty mixed up, but I'm not hitting all, where it actually went over the side. I want cells on the side. Let me turn this around. I've got it pretty good. I feel like I need to hit it with the torch. Glob of red paint in here. And it could be the, the, I'm getting some cell action over here. Which you guys probably, it's, I 
finally getting a little bit popping up over here. Let me turn this off. I need to hit the other sides. Yeah, I like the reds. They're my so I'm actually really happy. It's not what I uh, the red dominated where on Carol's the green dominated. My paint may have been too thin. But I am getting some pretty cells on this one. This one's more marbleized. I'm just trying to get some paint up on the sides heavy enough. Some of the issue that I've had is what I, I like what I have, but then what they like slide off. But this one, let me zoom the camera. Let me get rid of the, the cups more so I don't knock stuff over. And then I'm going to zoom the camera. in I think what I want to try is I want to try some dimethicone which is what you bought, I think, Dot. Now, I do think my paints were a little thinner. Because I can really see the canvas is stained on the sides in some places. Yeah, I don't, the lime green you can see here in a few places, Jennifer, it showed up, but the red dominated. Okay, and I don't want to move them around too much before I put them on the floor. Because I want to kind of keep them as even as possible. Because that has, like, I see what I have and it looks great but then it seems like when it dries it slides off and I need a different tray I'm trying to get some paint on one of these corners now, but I can't get to the paint. I, I'm, there we go. Maybe some of this paint that's not mixed. I'm just trying to get some thicker paint to go back down these sides. A little bit. Maybe a different brush because I like this kind of trying to just on the edges here it's so thin it kind of ran right off you can't see what I'm talking about but like you can see the canvas and I trying to get a little more paint on the side for that side. I 
in that corner. There's not cell action on the sides of all of it. I got two dirty brushes. Yeah, I think my paint was a little too thin in in some places. But I'm not unhappy. Okay, so Kmart, see how this one's more circles? And this one's more like marbleized, like wavy lines. That is, in my opinion, the biggest difference between the flip cup, cup and the dirty pour. And this was the dirty pour more, and this one was a flip cup. But I'm tempted to see if I can take the torch to it. And bring some more cells up. From here, there's not a lot of cell action. I kind of don't think I like the stuff I bought either. This, I think the silicone I bought. Yeah, they're different looks. But I'm not really seeing and I think I want to try next time not putting silicon in all the colors yeah I actually like these two I just don't know if they'll stay the way they are. So I'm going to put them down on the floor. And I actually think I like, I'll show you in a minute what I like better. Move that. So they're down. I think I liked pouring over this better because I could get to the sides easier. So I do think I like pouring over this than the push pins. I don't think the push pins gave me as much like leverage to get to the paint. Um, this is full of, I've been meaning to try to peel some of this up. But I will say it's very oily, so it may not be really usable. But I thought about some of it as skins. It's also very textured, so I don't know if I even want to mess with it. All right, let me clean up the paint. try another pour this week. I've got some more of those canvases. And I want to see how those dry. Hi CB. I just did a pour. All right, let me stop that recording.